Hello folks, we're back again and um, the last thing I made with you was this uh, casserole which I'm sort of, I'm not describing as a large casserole nor, nor a small one but a medium sized casserole. Um, okay, so we'll make this a quick clip but what we're going to do is make the lid. So I was just going to bring the camera in a bit closer here. We'll just talk about that briefly. Let's get it right out there. So there, there's there's our our casserole in front of us. Now it's in, actually important to measure this as soon as you can after you've after you've made it and what you're going to need to do that is a pair of calipers and we're going to need to take a measurement of the inside in other words if I was to explain it to you better the inside measurement across there and the ledge from the furthermost point here across to there but I don't want to use the calipers you, you might think well that's the obvious way to use the calipers like that well yeah that will measure it I don't have one of those pairs of calipers where you measure there and then it gives the external there it's not like a crossover one um, or you can measure it like this, which is generally what I prefer to do. Because when I've made the lid, I've got one here that I made before. When I've made the lid, while it's on the wheel, you see, I can measure measure it like that across. So that's looking about the right measurement, I think. Okay, so once you set your calipers, put them down carefully in such a way that they don't get knocked, okay? Because they can they can alter, can't they? Let's move the the camera here and now let's Let's just concentrate on making making that lid to the right side. So the lid is a it's 22 ounces, so that's one pound six ounce lump. Now you always need more than you think, you know, for doing a lid. You you will need more than you, you think you do. Alright? Bonk him down firmly, kind of hand center him like this. All right. Now, basically, what we're doing is making a shallow saucer, really. So, just wet the lump. Remember that that pinky finger there is is going to make seal it. Once you're happy that he's sealed, I like to cone him up. Okay, and then center him down. Okay. So it's some, looking something like that, a flattish, a flattish lump. Okay, then we're going to go down. So he's looking something like that. And now just pull the clay across. So 
So now I've got a little air bubble there. If you have an air bubble, just give him a couple of pricks and then move your hand along like that. Okay, at this stage we're just going to take a Okay, you can see we've got a little bit, a little bit still to go. Now you have to think about the, the lid, the the shape, the shape of the lid, because you have to think in reverse, don't you? Because this is upside down now. So when this is the right way up, it's going to be domed. All right. Maybe the lid will have a knob on it, and maybe the lid will have a strap handle. And that's got to be enough now. Well, I've gone a little bit too far. Just a little bit too wide. He's a fraction wide, just a fraction. But you know, it, it isn't. It may be that the one pound six ounces should have been should have been one pound five ounces. In actual fact. It's very easy to. It's very easy to have too much clay. Well, it's better to have too much clay than not to have enough. Okay. Well, that, as we're here for the purpose of teaching, in actual fact, I mean, you could leave it like that and just trim it to size when I come to fit it up. But let me just show you another way of doing it. All right. So you're going to take your your needle tool. And we're just going to put the finger here underneath, all right? And we're going to push down till I feel it touch my finger, and then lift away, and there he is. Okay. That's the a little bit of the excess there. We have. I don't want it too thick on the edge. So it's coming to a let's just check that again. That will do. That will do indeed. Okay, now that's generally all I will do. You can, if you want to, I'll just show you this one over here, but you can take a, a, a rib tool like that, which has got a nice curve on it, if you want to. Again, put your hand, wet your hand, put it underneath. All right, we're gonna put this, and we're gonna follow it from the center out to the, out to the edge, okay? So putting it there like that, just pushing down a little bit, pushing it against my, see, and we take then that. All right, that's a, ah, that's an optional thing. Okay, again, nice, nice flowing curve is what, is what you're after. When you're happy with that, we've measured it and everything. What we're going to do is we're going to remove some of this slip here. So we're going to hold the stick at 45 degrees like that, which will then funnel the water away, you see, like that, you see? I'll show you. See? Funnels all the water away. Which is sometimes better before you cut off. But the last thing we're going to do is actually, we're going to leather it, because we haven't done that, have we? A little leather, the little chamois. <laughs> 
Okay, so we're going to hold that. We're just going to hold it just over the edge gently like that. Okay, actually, what's just going to give it is a stick underneath. I'll just give it like a a token sticking, if you know what I mean, just to um, just to have an entry point for the wire. Okay, and that's it. Taking the wire like that. That's how you hold it. Pull it like that so the toggles come to the back of your hand and then it leaves your thumbs free to work the wire. Okay? Keeping the, the wheel still rotating but at a slower speed. Hold it like that and then just go straight across. Voila! And lift them off. Okay, and there, there, there is the lid which we will fit up to the, the casserole. Quite often, quite often with, um, with lids, there's a little bit of fitting up to do. It's rare that you know you throw a, a body of a pot and then throw a lid and the lid just fits absolutely perfectly. You don't have to touch it at all. Usually there's a, just a little bit of, you know, as my, as my dear dad would say, a little jiggery pokery. <laughs> needs to be done just to um, get it to fit up. Mm -hmm. Well that's not no big deal is it? That doesn't take nothing but the twinkling of an eye. Twinkling of an eye. Well, the next thing I've actually got to do is to, well, we've thrown, we've thrown the body, we've thrown the lid, and the next thing to do now is what I'll do is I'll move across to the, um, the casserole that I had already thrown, which is, is actually, is ready to, is ready to be finished off, and we'll make a clip of that. Okay, Simon Leach saying, keep practicing. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.